Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Following up on my last video where we talked about the construction on the south side, I'd like to talk about the pond area changing on the east side. As a reminder, this is based on the Giga Texas's latest site plan. I covered this in depth on my 29 September uh, video if you want to see more information and the links on the bottom are for the uh, basic files and documents If you'd like to take a look at that as well, it'll be in the video description as well This area is on the east side of the body and white structure It's a little pond area near where the robotic assembly machines were temporarily stored and is now a parking lot This is part of the overall rainwater and sediment management system to direct water away from critical areas around the factory and it's called a sedimentary basin. And to illustrate the changes in just four months, you can see the uh, upper left-hand corner photo was the end of June, and now at the 29th of October, how it appears. The original site plan from 2020, September, called this a water detention pond, but since then it's changed significantly. Here are two images from the site plan, and I've overlaid how the basic water flow will occur for this to operate. A sedimentary basin is an area that slows water velocity and allows sedimentation of coarse and medium-sized sediments. Of course, that sediment over time will build up and it will need to be removed. But an advantage is, is that removed material can be used elsewhere around the site or anywhere else. As you can see by this illustration, the water runoff comes in, it slowly sediments out, and then the water is allowed to leave through an overflow channel. A uh, link at the bottom of the description gives you more information. It'll be in the video description as well. Using an excerpt from the site plan and two recent photos, this is how the water flow will operate. The water comes in from the main site in the upper left-hand corner of the pink area, flows out through the outfall structure, and then it follows this water outfall channel to the south. And here are a few more images that kind of expand on that uh, overall area, and it shows where the uh, sedimentation basin and the outflow channel uh, is and how it operates and based on this information we now know what that southeast clearing area is for. So that's a quick review of what's going on in the east side that sedimentary basin area and how it would operate and I hope that you found that the discussion and illustrations helps you understand what we're seeing on the site what we're going to see as construction continues and what that southeast clearing near the mobile pipe mill is for. Thank you to my patrons for your generous support. Patreon members get access to high-resolution photos, previews, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Thanks.